and thanks for joining us tonight. First at six, the Ethics Commission is investigating a former CEO and superintendent of an upstate charter school. It comes after an inspector general report that only 7 News has. Brianna Smith's been digging through that report and its claims of mismanagement. She's joining us now with the very latest. So what did you find out, Brianna? Well, Tom, this, a 20-page report outlines the allegations and findings against Lori Manning. The school put Manning on leave when the investigation first started. And now the school says they're making changes following her resignation. At a board meeting last fall, parents demanded answers following a superintendent's suspension. Lori Manning voluntarily submitted her resignation from employment at High Point Academy. Months later, this investigative report from the Office of Inspector General outlines why. It details a conflict of interest that led to mismanagement of money. While Lori Manning was opening High Point Academy in Spartanburg, her former business partner, Katie Steller, was also opening a High Point Academy in Fort Worth, Texas. Both Manning and Steller set up separate nonprofits to assist each other's schools with tutoring and counseling. This report revealed that Steller made more than $800,000 in two years from High Point Academy, but did not deliver on the services required for that large of a payment. Evidence also showed that Manning hired her husband as an algebra teacher when he wasn't certified, then promoted him to a transportation supervisor without posting the job or having written contracts. So you're probably wondering what is next for the school, yeah. and it's going to go to the Ethics Commission, just like we said, and they're going to find out whether or not they need to find them or do something else in regards. They're also asking the public charter school district to make changes to their um, rules when it comes to charter schools as well. Now, Brianna, after all of this, is there any question tonight about the school's survival? Yeah, we've gotten calls from a lot of you guys at home, a lot of parents, and we want to make sure you understand that the school is not in jeopardy of closing because of this. The school district said, you know, they made sure to take care of this right away. That's why Lori Manning was on suspension, and that's why they're open still today and thriving. All right, Brianna, thanks very much. Mm -hmm.